Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the DIY speedometer designed using GPS module Arduino and OLED display. A speedometer or a speedometer is a gauge that measures and displays the instantaneous speed of a vehicle. Many speedometers use an analog system linked to the vehicle transmission, but many modern speedometers are electronics. In today's video, we'll learn how to build a electronics GPS based speedometer. In order to build a GPS speedometer, we need a GPS receiver. The most popular GPS receiver is U-Block Neo 6M GPS module. But we'll use Quicktail LT6 GPS module as it is tiny with a tiny antenna. By interfacing L86 GPS module with Arduino and 0.96 inch OLED display, the speed dilator parameters can be displayed on OLED screen. So without getting further delayed, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is the Quicktail L86 GPS module which has an ultra compact design and low power consumption. The patch antenna comes attached to this module and is inbuilt with GPS sensor. Due to high precision and sensitivity, this module is suitable for broad range of IoT application. This module is a SMD module, so I solder a 6 pin mail headers on both sides. Now the module becomes breadboard friendly and can be easily inserted on a breadboard. It has a 12 pins, but for our applications, will be using only 5 pins. This is the Arduino Nano board. Due to the smaller size, I used Arduino Nano board instead of Uno or any other board. You can use anyone whichever you prefer. To display symbols or a text, I used a 0.96 inch I2C OLED display. The OLED display has lower power consumption and gives the best clean display. Here is a connection diagram for this project. The RX pin and TX pin connects to the D2 and D3 of Arduino. The VCC connects to 3B3 and GND to GND. Also connect the V backup pin to 3B3 as this is required to keep the module working all the time. Similarly, connect the OLED display via I2C pin. I used jumper wires and connected the GPS module and OLED display directly with the Arduino Nano board. You may use your custom design PCB for this application. Now let's move to the coding part. We need to add two libraries to this project. The first one is Tiny GPS Plus library which will establish communication with the nearest satellite system. The second library that we need is Adafruit SST1306 library for OLED display. Download this library and add them to the Arduino library folder. In the code part, we will use software serial to interface the GPS module with Arduino and assign RX and TX pin as 2 and 3. These are the OLED parameters. In the loop section, the GPS will check the incoming data from the satellite system and print the speed value on OLED screen. In case if GPS location is not valid, it will display no data. Now go to tools menu. Select Arduino Nano board from the list. Then select the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. After the code gets uploaded, you can check your OLED screen. I am powering the whole circuit with the help of a power bank right now. And the module is stationary. So the displayed value is zero or near or less around one kilometer per hour. It is also displaying the number of satellites it is connected to and also the altitude in meters. You can see the glitch or moving display on OLED screen. This is due to the camera indoor outdoor lighting condition. You can take it outside and check the speed. Currently, 
I am inside the bus and it is moving slowly. I place the device on the bus floor. So the speed it is showing is around two and half kilometers per hour. When the bus stops, the speed becomes zero. When the bus moves, there is a rise in speed. So this is how you can make your own GPS speedometer at your home. The complete details of this project have been uploaded on the website of How to Electronics. You can get the purchase link, data sheets, source code, program, and all the details on this site. In case you have still any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.